So this promotional advertisement is being given on the 27th day of the Jewish month of Tishrei in the Jewish year 5772. That corresponds to October of 2011. The copyright to this promotional material, this promotional advertisement, is owned by David Klein. My book, The Godly Fire of the Jewish Soul, is based primarily on the teachings of Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson of Righteous Memory. Um, the reason, the biggest reason I say that, there are many reasons why I, I say that my book is based on the teachings of the Rebbe. Probably the biggest reason why um, I say that is because I am a very I am a very strong Lubavitcher Chassid of the Rebbe, Lubavitcher Rebbe, and my whole approach and everything I know in Yiddishkeit, in, in, in Judaism, the Torah and its commandments, comes ultimately from Lubavitcher Rebbe. Um, I received my uh, Torah instruction in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Um, many years ago, and uh, I studied in a Lubavitcher rabbinical seminary for about seven years. And in Lubavitch, we study both the revealed part of Torah and the concealed part of Torah, which is called Hasidus, as well as Kabbalah. But in Lubavitch, we don't study, study Kabbalah. Um, we study prim primarily Hasidus, and as well as the rest of the Torah, including the Talmud and the five books of Moses and all the commentaries, etc. Um, one second, I want to look at my notes. So, because I'm so much of a thorough Lubavitcher, um, my whole approach to Yiddishkeit, the Torah and his commandments, is from the Rebbe. He's my ultimate teacher and guide in Yiddishkeit. There's a number of other reasons why I say that my book is based on the teachings of Lubavitcher Rebbe. Uh, and that is, first and foremost, that in my book, first I want to say that I want to tell you what, what my book is about. In, in my book, um, I explain the major fundamental principles of Yiddishkeit, the Torah and its commandments, according to the Lubavitcher way in Yiddishkeit, which would include the Hasidic dimension of Torah according to Lubavitch. And of course, as, as I previously mentioned, according to the real part of Torah, the Talmud, etc. And, um, one second, I'm look at my notes. So, in my book, I quote a good number of times as the source of material I'm presenting, of course, according to my understanding, is the source of the material is from the Rebbe, various Hasidic discourses and holy Torah books from the Rebbe, um, including the fact that there's a certain section of the book that uh, is is solely about Lubavitcher Rebbe or Menachem Mendel Schneerson. 
um, it explains the re relationship between the Rebbe and a Chassid, the Rebbe's role as the leader of the Jewish people. Of course, we all know that the Rebbe passed away in 1994, but the Rebbe leads us from above. And um, I go into a very in-depth discussion of the personality of the Rebbe and the Rebbe's wisdom in Torah and the close personal relationship that the Rebbe had with every Lubavitcher Chassid. Um, and also there's a section in my book devoted to explaining the way of Lubavitcher Hasidism, the way of Yiddishkeit according to the way that Lubavitcher Hasidim practice uh, Judaism, the Torah's commandments. Um, but once again, uh, my whole approach to Yiddishkeit is according to Rebbe's teaching. I lived in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, the where the where the worldwide Lubavitch headquarters is located, the central Lubavitch synagogue, uh, fondly known as 770. That's the address, but it's, the name is also just called 770. And uh, I went to many, many, many for Brennan's Hasidic get together togethers with the Rebbe, where there were many, many Hasidim there, as well as Jews of all walks of life. And uh, I just learned a tremendous amount of Torah wisdom, uh, the wisdom of the Torah, which is, of course, from God. Uh, from the, and I learned this wisdom from the Bible Rabbi directly. Um, now I'd like to present to you my credentials. As I previously mentioned, I studied Torah, including the Hasidic dimension of Torah, in the Lubavitch Rabbinical Seminary for about seven years. Um, I also have a law degree from New York University, one of the top ten law schools in the United States. And over the last 20 years, I've been engaged in spreading uh, Yiddishkeit to non-religious Jews of all walks of life and in addition Lubavitcher Rebbe personally predicted to me that that I will have success uh, in, in spreading Judaism, the Torah and its commandments. Now to give you um, a good idea of the some of the subjects, a number of the subjects that I cover in my book, uh, as I explain in my book in a very clear and understandable way, um, you know the, the major fundamental principles of Yiddishkeit, the Torah's commandments. I there's a section about the. Ex about the the infinite existence of God Almighty, God the Supreme Being. Um, I discuss there's a section which discusses where I where I explain um, why we say in Torah Judaism that a modern reformed version of Judaism is impossible. Um, there's a section devoted to um, reconciling God as the essence of good with suffering in the world. Um, there's a section which explains the concept and the, the uh, requirements according to Torah of the Mashiach, the Messiah, and uh, what is the Mashiach, how we can see in the world that the Mashiach is going to come any second, as Lao Trevi said many years ago. Um, as I already mentioned, there's a section about the Rebbe and the Rebbe's relationship with every Jew, especially in the Babish of Um 
there's a section devoted to Jewish mysticism um, and how it has practical significance to the world and how uh, ordinary people can truly understand Jewish mysticism, especially Hasidus, the Hasidic dimension of the Torah, the, the way Lubavitch teaches it. Um, I explain why the Jewish people has the total and absolute right to own the country of Israel. Um, I explain, um, as I already mentioned, uh, a section of my book is about uh, Lubavitcher Hasidism, the way of Judaism according to the way Lubavitcher Hasidim practice it. Um, I also have a section that talks about the infinite greatness of God and how it relates to the world and how uh, it tra studying about it can translate into practical action in a person's life. I have a section devoted to the ex explaining divine, the principle of divine providence of God. Uh, and so on and so forth. Um, what all of us need, truly, in our lives is inspiration, especially spiritual inspiration. And the Lubavitch way in Yiddishkeit um, is he has a tremendous wealth of spiritual inspiration. So I highly urge you to purchase my book because um, you get a lot of guidance and spiritual inspiration and enthusiasm about Yiddishkeit, about the Torah's commandments, and how it relates to you in your own personal lives as an individual. Now I'm going to tell you how you can purchase my book. How you can buy it. Currently my book, The Godly Fire of the Jewish Soul. Once again, my name is David Klein, K-L-E-I-N. Um, it's being sold at uh, the Jewish bookstore in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York, called Judaica World. And their phone number is area code 718-604-1020. They have 718-604-1020. One more time, they have 718-604-1020. You can very easily just pick up the phone and call them up during their the hours they're open for business. And you could order my uh, book by credit card. And I just want to say one more thing. Enjoy.